The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Milwaukee Brewers taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. Just about ready to go. And today on the hill, Nick Cruz. There's always a bit of a learning curve for rookie pitchers. You've got to get familiar with these big league hitters, and it's more of a chess match. But I think this kid's got good stuff and the potential to be great. Ready to go? This is Bryce Terang. Line drive. Gets down base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Now the left fielder, the left Sal Fraley. There's a strike. That clips the inside corner for a strike. Terang aboard here at first with nobody out. That one ran inside, almost got him. Straightened him up a little bit. And the one two misses to even the count. And another ball. Three and two. Payoff pitch. And there's ball four. Oh, we've seen this recipe cook up a big inning plenty of times. Two runners on, nobody out, and they're in the heart of their order. It's just a great opportunity to put up a crooked number. Christian Yelich, the next day hit, takes high for ball one. In the air on the infield, and the infield fly is called. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. In there for strike one. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. And another ball. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Right-hander kicks, deals. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. One out. Runners at first and second. Y'all, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. A couple of changes. Swing and a miss struck him out. Well, it can be so tough as a hitter to pull yourself out of an extended slump, one that lasts for several games, even a week or more. No, right now, he's really in one, so I'm sure his mind is all over the place, racing, having a hard time sleeping, trying to figure out what can get him back on track, back to feeling more comfortable and settled in in the box. The pitch. Swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side. Two on, two outs. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors. Back here with my pal Siggy. And on the hill, Tobias Myers. Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings... Deep drive down the line. Foul ball. The pitch. Got him, Lucy. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Well, he went up there trying to be aggressive, that's for sure. Hacking at those first two pitches, but clearly that last one pulled him. He could have been sitting on something else entirely, but you want to be able to adjust on 0-2 and, and at least get a swing off when it's in the zone. Maybe choke up, maybe spread out your stance a little bit. You got to give the guy credit on the mound, though. He went right after it. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. One out, base is empty. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. He was all over that one. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Donovan makes the catch. Two down. Next for the Brewers, Blake Perkins. And first offering is fouled off. Perkins goes 5 feet 11 inches, hitting ninth in today's lineup. And he was a second-round pick back in 2015. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Blows 
the high he passed him. That's a strikeout. Milwaukee leaves back here at Bush Stadium. Now it's the second baseman, Bryce Terang. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. That one just misses. Well, clearly not too happy with the call there. Thought he caught the top of the zone, and you could pretty much read his lips saying, that's not up. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Wynn makes the catch, and there's one down. Now, that's a tough play for the infielder, ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. On the ground at first, and he grabs it foul. And down on strikes he goes, and now two ball. And now it's Christian Yelich. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Two outs, bases empty. Got him. And Milwaukee is set down in order. Brewers go down. Back here in St. Louis. Now it's going to be Reese Hoskins. Edge of the zone for a strike. One one. Well, these Brewers just haven't produced as many competitive at-bats as I'd like to see in this one. They've gone down on strikes at a high rate today, so it's probably time to simplify the approach and just find ways to put the ball in play. Righty to the plate. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. But why to kick the pitch? Well struck, right field, Donovan going back. Drops in for a hit, couldn't run it down. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Nice job going the opposite way with it. Letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. Now let's see if they can put up the first one of the game. Out towards left center. Under it. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Joseph Ortiz up now for the Brewers. Just missed. Fourth inning underway, no score. Swings through that one for strike one. And another ball. Man at second. Got him swinging. Picks up strikeout number seven. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts of this one, Boo. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already, so he's got a good pace going, no doubt. Down the line. And a foul ball. Out to short. Win. Fires across the diamond. And that is the inning. Brewers. We go to the top of the fifth. Up now for Milwaukee. Jackson Chorio. Right through there for a strike. Chorio in his rookie season. Only 20 years old. And he's driven in eight runs over his last ten games. Donovan puts it away. And a quick out number one. Blake Perkins. Up now for the Brewers. Going one. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Next offering in there for a strike. And that is strike two. Caught him looking for the K. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there. At least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Back to the top of the Milwaukee order. And here is Bryce Terang. 
And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. That's a little bit low. One ball, one strike. There's a strike. Ball tied up, and we're in the top of the fifth. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. Coming on is Pham to make the play. Back here in St. Louis, all set for the start of the inning. Now the number two hitter, Sal Fraley. Breaking ball through there for a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Contreras hauls it in for the out. One up, one down. Now, now it's Christian Yelich. Christian Yelich. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. And here it comes. And a foul ball left side. Struck him out looking. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Chris third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. Oh, what a stop. From his knees, the throw. And that's a nice play to end the inning. Making it look easy at the keystone position. Definitely worth another look. He'll get some high fives when he gets into the dugout. And we're back. New inning getting started. And now it's William Contreras. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. That one finds the zone. Strike one. And ball one. That one fouled off. Just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. That misses, and it's a full count. Joseph Ortiz up now for the Brewers. That's in for a strike. Late with the swing there. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Dominating strikeout there on just three pitches, and that's what a good power pitcher can do to you. If he's hitting his spots, filling up the strike zone, sometimes he bats over before it really begins. Adamas at the plate now. That's ball one. Two down, nobody on. Here in the top half of inning number seven. Next offering in there for a strike. And a count one and one. Right through there for a strike. That curveball has been a big pitch for him today. He's been able to get ahead in the count with it. He's also been able to use it to put guys away. Curve. Hit right back to him. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Still in total command on the mound with seven shutout innings. And welcome back to the ballpark. We're at the top of the eighth. Digging in, Jackson Chorio. Fouled off. He was late. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Fly ball to right. Donovan gets there. He's under it. And out number one on the grab. So up next, Blake Perkins. Bounce to the right side. Oh, he gloves it. Gathers and throws. It's there, and that's a great play. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Terang in the box now. No balls and a strike. All tied up, and we're at the top of the eighth. 
Looked like it was a little bit up. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Got him. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Back here at Bush Stadium. We go to the ninth. Up now for Milwaukee. Sal Fraley. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. I mean, his pitch efficiency, Billy to get ahead and count. At times, pitch to contact, let the defense work behind him. That's why he's still in the game here in the ninth inning. Balls it in, and there's one away. Man, that's so frustrating. You hit the ball hard. You understand the situation. You want to get on base and try to score that tying run, but no reward right there, and just going to have to sit on it. And fouled off. You just don't see it that much anymore. A guy being this efficient and getting this deep into the game. I wonder if he's going to be able to close it out. It's just something about that ninth inning. But being at under 100 pitches, he's still got plenty of fuel left in the tank. And that one is lifted in the air. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. So it's their last chance in this one. Now the Brewers cleanup hitter, Reese Hoskins. There's a strike. Hoskins pushes it foul. Well, they gave up on that pitch early, and it ended up staying in the zone. I'm sure he's kicking himself and would like that pitch again. Got him, and that is the ball game. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game, and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. And a 1-0 final score here in this one. They hang on to win it by a run.